and staying nice and tall so that you're not kind of bending over too much, constricting your breath so that because you're going to need all the oxygen that you can get. Um, it's also, in, in general as well, really good to kind of be looking three to four steps ahead as much as you possibly can. Um, so for people who are um, a little bit newer, I would say maybe two to three steps um, might be just more realistic. Um, but you don't want to have your head straight down because again, constricting your breath. Um, and so then as you get kind of more comfortable on the trails, you can be looking ahead and planning out where you're going to put your feet and kind of noting in your brain like, oh, there's a rock that I will likely trip over there, like, <laughs> um, and kind of plan out where you're going to go. Um, it's yeah. funny, it's not, it's not the big rocks that get you, it's usually... It's about, like the, yeah, yeah. it's always little yeah, ones. Little I, ones. I have issues picking up my feet it's sometimes. Mister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which isn't good with training. Generally, just like yeah. eye level, like is it? I mean, like is that is that like a point like you're? Um, I don't know. Like, like are you? Do you find that you're like oscillating yeah, between like looking, is. looking like at, yeah. kind of okay. about like I don't know, like five, I feel six like it feet in front of you, or like on the trail, yeah, um, and how technical it is. Yeah. Um, but usually you want to kind of be looking straight ahead. Yeah. So like here, I'll be like, oh, I need to step there. Gonna step there. There's a rock there. Yeah. Um. In general, especially on hard surfaces, um, and then Courtney and Phil can comment on this as well, um, on harder surfaces, I would probably go for rocks because um, I'll have better traction and grip on them. Yeah. Um, whereas kind of in this stuff, you might you don't yeah. have quite yeah. a good traction. Yeah. Um, I feel like intuition kind of goes a long way. As right, as although if it's like a bunch of tiny, like I was just... Um, in the San Juans where there's like a ton of scree and all of that and then I was yeah. like ah. yeah. um so then that'll be a little which bit which is like fields of broken rocks right yeah. um so so slide thank you for <laughs> translating I mean scree is <laughs> it doesn't have to be a common it's like, it's like running on dinner plates yeah like yes that. Um, that's a good analogy. That's the best. Yeah, that's and then, <laughs> but if it was pouring down rain, for example, then and this was like really shiny, I might avoid it um, and go a little bit more for the dirt because I'll have better traction. Yeah. Um, and then if there's like a trickle down um, kind of water, don't be afraid to run in water because there will be more sediment there. Um, so then you'll actually have better traction going into.